Hey guys, this is Sid with SVTPerformance.com and today I've got a little bit of a follow-up video on the FL1A oil filter sort of overview we did a little while back. I tried to get one of every FL1A foil filter that Ford had made at least concurrently that I could get a hold of and somebody reached out and said, hey, you forgot one. And I was like, all right, so what is it? Is it FL313? I'd never heard of that. And it was an old out of production filter. So that's sort of why we missed out on it. I mean, there was some FL1 and filters like that in the past that Ford just doesn't make anymore. This is one of those. So I decided, well, let's figure out what the equivalent it is and take a look at it. So sort of my base that I've started to just show everything off of is, you know, a Wix 51515 because that's kind of just what I use uh, in these applications. This is the Wix equivalent to that FL313. It's a 51056 and that is it. It is a tiny little guy. So you can see compared to what a regular FL1A would be. So it is the same thread pitch, everything. It will screw on to a small block Ford. You can see even the gasket surfaces are identical, but this is probably more appropriate for say your lawnmower. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure this thing will fit on my Cub Cadet tractor. So I may try that out in the very near future. But that was just, that was one we missed. So I figured I'd throw it in here. And to give you guys some more interesting things to look at, I figured let's pop open some filters because some guys asked me why I prefer the Wix brand over Motorcraft in this application. Motorcraft makes decent filters. I'm not going to complain about any of that stuff. It's a good off-the-shelf filter. Uh, and I have this one that I had used, I uh, believe, probably on my Jeep, if I had to guess. Um, this one is an older one. You can tell because it has the printed can. It's not a sticker. Uh, I cut it open however long ago. But I just wanted to show you why I use a Wix, and really that's... Can be shown by popping it open. This is one of the last ones that come off my Jeep 1515. And yes, a Jeep four liter inline six and a lot of other Jeep engines use a Motorcraft FL1A thread pitch. So let's just get this popped open and I'll show you exactly why I like to use the Wix brand. So cutting open a filter with rubber gloves on, way more difficult. But as you can see, the differences really start as soon as you take the uh, tops off of them. The Wix has a silicone anti-drain back valve, which is good, versus just a natural rubber one on the Ford. But the big difference is really right here in the filter media you can see motorcraft is not terrible um, the pleat spacing is not exactly what you would call even but not bad really it's just a, a basic oil filter nothing to really write home about nothing to complain about it does have a little piece of string tied around it to sort of keep the filter media together i guess during the manufacturing process leaf spring in the bottom for your uh, anti drain back. So, and then there's your bypass valve on the Wix filter. And this one, as you can see, still had quite a bit of oil in it, but that's why we have on gloves. You can see the filter media is just, it's just way better. That's, there's no two ways about it. They both have steel end plates the motorcraft is actually a hair taller you get just a little bit more filter media height out of it but the 
the actual build of the filter itself, to me, the Wix just looks better. So that is why I like to run the Wix filters. And I believe we showed last time one of these that actually works on like the 2.3 liter Broncos was the Wix uh, 1516. It's the same basic deal. It's just a smaller diameter. Uh, this is a Napa Gold version, but it's the same thing, 1516. This came off of, I think, that Bronco. So let's pop it open, take a look. I have cut open on the channel some, uh, what were those, Motorcraft FL500s. Those are essentially the same size as this. Uh, if you want to go back and take a look at those, and you can compare, you know, as far as how these look versus that. Move this guy out of the way so I can get a full swing on my filter cutter here. We are through the can. You can see, same deal again. Silicone anti-drain back valve. There's your bypass valve, just tucked in there in the top. Let's see if I can get this filter media out of here. Can's not wanting to let it go. There we go. Let it drain off there, but again, you can see the media itself is just assembled a little bit better. You don't see big gaps. This one doesn't seem to have a, uh, a steel crimp. There's the actual crimp line. Whereas I believe this one had steel. Yeah, you can see right there. And I'm making an enormous mess, but it is what it is. Actually, no, you couldn't see right here. You got a steel line. On crimp there, nothing on this one, but still decent quality. Thank God I put this thing down to protect the workbench just a little bit, but I think that's just about it. I hope you guys got a little something out of this. That's why I like to run wicks, you know. We'll cut open some more stuff in the future. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe. We'll see you over on svtperformance.com.